passing an opening, and then here is a tall hedge. Um, but back here, we have pillars, and they flank an opening, and um, this opening takes us into another world. Daniel's technique works a lot like how bats use sounds to navigate in the dark, and it caught the attention of bat biologist Cynthia Moss. There are a lot of similarities, actually, between what Daniel Kish does and what bats do. Daniel makes a, a click and uses echoes from the click sound to perceive the presence of objects. Bats, for the most part, use their voices instead of their tongues to produce high-frequency sounds that result in echoes. Today, she and Daniel are working together at her lab at the University of Maryland to see just how detailed of an image he is able to produce using sound. There are a number of pipes that are positioned in different locations. And if you could tell us what you see or experience with your echolocation um, as you approach the different obstacles. OK, so I'm passing. I mean, I touched this one with my sleeve, but I'm aware of this one as well. And I'm aware of it, which suggests that it's probably two together. That's right. Although he can see grouped pipes with relative ease, individual ones are more difficult for Daniel to detect. Somewhere in that area. Uh huh. Likely meaning the image he's producing is no, less detailed okay. than a bat's. The bats don't have this problem, you know? They can detect fishing line. It's just really not fair. <laughs> Nonetheless, Daniel's ability to distinguish between different qualities of sound ranks far above average. One of my colleagues ran some hearing tests on Daniel, and all of them were very, very good at processing temporal information about acoustic signals, which suggests that he's wired to process the timing of sounds in a way that's specialized compared to the average uh, human listener. So if Daniel is better at analyzing sound than most of us, what's going on in his brain that gives him a leg up? It turns out that his visual cortex which in most people is used to make sense of input from the eyes, is now being used in part to make sense of sound. For years, scientists thought if you went blind, your visual cortex went dark. But it actually gets a new job, helping decipher input from your other senses. Research suggests that Daniel has rewired his brain, allowing him to actually see a kind of visual signal with his ears.